in a universally designed for learning classroom where every student has choices about the tools that they use, whether they're an English language learner, whether they're a student with a disability, or whether they're just a general education student, and not everybody's doing things in exactly the same way, then that student learns to value the tools that they chose to use and then continues to use them, as opposed to saying, I don't want to look any different. If everybody in a classroom is doing pencil and paperwork and you're the student that can't effectively do pencil and paperwork and so they give you a computer or they give you a tablet and, oh, well, you get to have it because it's on your IEP, but none of my friends are using that. Whereas if a teacher said every day when kids came in to do their writing activity, would you like to write on the tablet? Would you like to write on the Chromebook? Would you like to write on the whiteboard? Would you like to write with pencil and paper? Then every student could pick the tool that best meets their needs. And the student who has the assistive technology need where not only is it their preferred tool, but it's the tool that they must have in order to be successful, they're going to be more accepting of that. Because there's not, I'm different from anybody else. It's that I get the same opportunity as all my peers have to choose a tool that meets my learning needs. For more information about effective assistive and instructional technology, please visit ctdinstitute.org. Funding for this video is provided by the Center on Technology and Disability through a grant from the United States Department of Education, Office of Special Education Programs.